YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, again joined by Jaco, the Lord of Wolves, and Henrik. Yep. The nothing. <laughs> 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 never, never and today we're going to be looking at a sour, and Henrik loves sours, so yeah. that's nice. And this is from Cascade, another one we got in the trade with a Achuvens, or however you say it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the Cascade Brewing Vlad the Imp Ailer. Yeah, and it's a huge sour, it's, uh, aged in wine and bourbon barrels, and on 10.6 percent. It's a big beer, oh, and it, it says here on the back, Vlad the Imp Ailer, a silver medal winner at the 2009 Great American Beer Fest in the wood and barrel aged sour beer category, is released at last. This Northwest style sour ale is blend of a blonde quadruple, triple, and blonde ales. Vlad is aged over 18 months since the lake bourbon and the wine barrels before being blended together. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty interesting. 45 degrees to 50 uh, Fahrenheit, I guess that's above this temperature. Yeah. It's been in the fridge for a couple of hours. So, so we got the Vlad the Impaler, or Cascade Vlad the Impaler poured. Finally. Yeah, it took forever <laughs> to get that cork out, it was really stuck in there. But that almost looks like an IPA or something yeah. like that. Yeah, with a nice haze yeah. color to it. It's uh, haze to it. really hazy copper or dark orange. A bit of, a bit of yellow. Maybe. Yeah, uh, nice white head. Yep, so got your own. Mm. Oh, nice. That smells nice. Lots of balsamic vinegar. Mm. Yeah. And cherries and like darker fruits. You can smell the wine barrel too. It's quite yeah. thin. It reminds me along the lines of a Rodenbach. Yeah, yeah not actually, as, I was about to say. Just yeah. not as like fruity. You no, know, and along the lines of a kind of white wine as you mm -hmm. get, get from some of the more. Yes, from some of the uh, sours. It smells nice. It smells a bit, a bit sweeter than the, the Rodenbach. Yeah, Maybe. it's got a little bit of a sugary sweetness. Well, it's also high ABV, 10.9. Mm. Was it 10.9? Not 10.6. Isn't it a oh, 2009? Oh, yeah, this is 2009 vintage. Wow, shit. Three, three year old, old vintage here. <laughs> smells really nice and complex. Some of the oaky notes. I think it's more wine barrel than bourbon barrel. Yeah. But almost like that oaky, or almost the oaky tannins, some funky notes, that kind of barnyardy. You guys want to give it a taste? Yep. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh. Wow, that's really good. Oh, oh this is tasteful. Wow, that's really nice. A bit dry. Really complex. It's a really complex big sour. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Medium mouthfeel. Yeah. A bit dryness, I guess. I feel it's kind of, yeah, dryness. Mm. I feel it's almost got a silky, creamy mouthfeel yeah. for some weird yeah. reason, which is weird for a sour. And for the 10%, there's no trace at all. Oh, the temperature is really rounded off. A bit of warmth. It's in very here. sweet, though. Yeah, I, don't know. I wouldn't say mm -hmm. any warmth. No, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's very sweet. Yeah, I get almost actually, which is weird. It's our vanilla tone just on the end of the palate. Yeah, when you just swallow the beer, some fruity vanilla. Citrusy notes. kind of. Notes. Yeah, lemony. Yeah, lemony, lemony citrus. Yeah. Definitely in those wine barrels. Lots of oaky tannins, vanilla notes, red grape, kind of white grape in there yeah. too. It's a, like a mix. Pear, apple, green apple. Yeah, a little bit of a sugary. Tone to it, yeah, caramel sugarness mm. kind of uh, going on. Definitely better than the vine. Yeah, I actually like this a lot. This is really tasty. Um, it's not like the best sour I've ever had, but it's it's actually really good. It Maybe one of the better American sours, at least that we've had in a while. Yeah. I like it more than the Russian River we've had so far. At least. Yeah, They're, those are really good too, though. But this is this is really tasty, and I like the complexity on it. It's really nice and complex. And that it's got that kick of sweetness too. It's almost got an earthy tone to it as well. It's it's a pretty good sour. Rating wise for me, I'm gonna go 90 in this one. This is a nice offering from Cascade, uh, and no fruits or anything in there, so it's all from the the nice bacteria, all those flavors, the dark fruits and all that, all the kind of cherry notes. So yeah, 90 straight up 90. Really good sour. Definitely worth getting if you can. I fully agree. 90 as well. Get this one if you can. This is worth trying, and it was worth a trade anyway. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah, 90. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same. It's it's very good. Um, I like uh, I like the sour ales very much, and uh, yeah, it's it's one of the better. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, that does it for the review of the Cascade Brewing's Vlad the Impaler Northwest style sour, or just Vlad the Impaler. And it's oh, uh, fine. Okay. Uh, it's not that sour as a, a as no. Sour. This is a great sour to start with. I well, think. yeah, not I, the best. It's but super complex. Maybe yeah. a little too complex. I think for sour, but. Yeah, it's a great sour, so yeah. Definitely let us know what you think of the Vladley Impaler if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. 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 We're going to see you guys in another beer review.